Hey guys, hope you're having a good day today. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to export images in Affinity Designer. So yeah, let's hop right into that. Basically to start, all you're going to do is go to this file tab up in the top left corner. It's right up here. Click the file and then you're going to go down to export. This one right here. There's also a shortcut for it, which is um, control alt shift and S um, on Mac. It's probably like command alt shift S. But you just click that and it's going to bring you up to this pop box right here and the image is going to be in the left right here of what's going to be exported so this is the image i'm exporting and it's going to pop up in the jpeg format to begin with so there are multiple formats that you can uh, mess around and export with and but it's always going to start with a uh, jpeg um some other common ones that you might uh notice off the bat are png um tiff and jpeg uh there's also hdr down at the bottom um, we'll get more into those later but basically what you're going to see is um your format you, you'll select your format and then with jpeg right here uh, it'll be like a quality slider so this will make it easier to export the image so it's not such a big as such a big file um so say i knock this down to like 55 or whatever it the quality it is going to alter the image it's going to make it look a little worse but it is going to make the uh, file size a lot smaller and easier to export and work on later. And it'll show you an estimated file size right around here. Each format is going to have an advanced section and that's uh, this little section right down here. So if I went to PNG this would look different like so. But let's focus on JPEG for right now. So um, if you, um, we'll just put the quality back to 100 but if you click this progressive button right here. Basically what that's gonna do is um, it'll save multiple files so when it is downloading you'll be able to see like the base quality of the image where it looks kind of shitty but while it loads in you'll see it like start to look better or whatnot. But if we turn the progressive off it's just gonna have one load and it's gonna load top from bottom. That's just how it is. The progressive it'll load the whole image at a lower quality and then as it loads in it'll heighten its quality. A common problem I see when uh, people are exporting the images or whatnot is like the color in the image doesn't come through as much as they like want it to. So for example in this image that we have right here, this leather jacket or whatever, it might not come off as shiny or as like the right shade of black that we really want in the image. So what we can do is um, originally the ICC profile in the advanced section, it's going to look like this, it's going to be blank. Um, if we go down to sRGB, that's gonna like make sure all the colors and the pixels or whatnot are definitely gonna like show and pop out. So, um, for example, like if you had just like a blue sky, you de you might want to consider changing this option so it doesn't the blue doesn't look so flat, and you can actually see like the different depths and changes in the colors of blue. So that's always helpful helpful when it comes to exporting. So some of the different formats that you can uh, export in uh, are PNG, like that's pre pretty standard one, your JPEG which I just showed you right here, another common one is a TIFF right there, you also have our PDF which is good for if you're working in uh, both roster and uh, vector in the same image, um, you have your open EPS and uh, radiance HDR right, right down here, and then we also have your TGA which is like kind of like 3D modeling and um, like game engine compatibility basically. So yeah, those are uh, your export uh, formats or whatnot. They're all gonna have their own different advanced section right here. But anyways, once you're ready to export, you have your format or whatever, all you have to do, click export, find a place for it to save. We'll just go pictures, save. I already have one saved, so we're just gonna replace it. Hit yes, done, there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys staying to the end. If you did like the content, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. It goes a long way to help me put out more content for you guys. So yeah, thank you and I'll see you in the next one.